What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you, and welcome to this devotion series through the Gospel of Luke. It has been so good. We're in Luke chapter 18, starting with verse 15. Uh, it says this, it says that people were also bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. And when the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. But Jesus called the children to him and said, hey, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. You know, th this is just one of these classic moments. It happened a couple different times. Um, you know, it, I think it's a little bit natural in their culture and in their day, people would have been dismissive of kids. Um, there are even cultures in that time period that would have said, hey, when the food comes out, men eat first, then women, and then if there's any food left over at all, maybe, you know, maybe we'll give it to the kids. And so, you know, it would have been easy to maybe dismiss the children. And Jesus is like, whoa, 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 for you to dismiss children. Oh my God, that's, you just need to know this, that in heaven, uh, it looks like a giant playground. If you go read the description of heaven, it's like there's trees that you can climb in and there's a, there's a sea and a lake and a river. And it's like, it just sounds awesome. It sounds like a, a, an amazing place to be. And so I have this picture in my mind that heaven is going to be a place filled uh, for, for people that have a childlike spirit about them. And that's really what he ends up pointing to. He goes, hey, do you see these little kids? Actually, you should be paying attention to these little kids. And the same type of spirit that children have is the same spirit that you should adopt. And if you could ever adopt that, you'd actually begin to really experience the kingdom of God. And if you can't, you'll actually kind of miss it a little bit. And so I started thinking, well, what is the spirit of a child? Now, again, we're not talking about immaturity or being childish. But we're talking about the spirit of, of, of a child. And I started thinking five things I wanted to share with you. Number one is this, just there's a humility about them. Um, there's also a curiosity, I think, that goes along with that. You know, li little kids are, are just kind of curious. The, the favorite question that they ask, of course, is why? You know, when, whenever my kids were little, like, why? Well, why? And then you give them an answer, like, why? And they can just keep going, right? So there's this humble curiosity to them. I find that adults, we're too certain. We think we know it all. We think, even theologically speaking, I find too many Christians that think they've got it figured out and, and they talk with such a dogmatism about them. And it's, I think it's very off-putting. I think we need to stay very, very curious. There is more about God that we do not understand and is so beyond our ability to understand that we just want to come to God with that humble curiosity. Kids have a faith about them, right? Like uh, kids just believe if you tell them until you keep, you know, breaking your promises, if you tell them, they'll believe it, you know, and they get excited about faith. They get excited about belief. And, and I think that we need to have that too, that, that childlike faith that just says, hey, I believe my daddy could beat up your daddy and my daddy's awesome. And if my daddy's with me, I'm not afraid of anything, right? Well, what if we felt like that as we journeyed through life? No, no, as long as my heavenly father is with me, I am confident. I know I can trust him. Um, kids have a, a natural joy to them. You know, they haven't been beat up and bruised and battered by life yet. And so uh, along with the innocence and along with the, 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 the humility and the faith, there is just a simple joy. They can find joy in the most little things, the most simple things. And, and some of us, again, we, we immediately are like, well, I'm bored, right? And so um, I think kids, when they're little, um, they, they have a creativity to them, if you notice this. And actually studies show you that like all children are creative and then slowly over time we can, we can lose that. Um, wonder is a component of being childlike and having a childlike spirit. Um, they see things for the first time and are blown away by it. You know, here's a great question for you. When was the last time you were outside with no light pollution and you could see all the stars and you were just in awe? When was the last time you stood at the edge of the ocean and saw the vast, massive ocean and just were in awe and wonder? Like I remember going to Yosemite and looking at the great mountains and just being in awe and wonder. Like you still want to have that about you. And then I think again, the fifth one, last one, is this the thing that maybe drives it all? It's just an innocence or a purity of heart. And so that 
that's the type of spirit that I think we all want to have. And, and I think you and I all, if we could, we would love to stop paying taxes. We would love to, to stop stressing over all kinds of things and go back to the innocence of a childlike spirit. And so may we do that today. May we do that in our prayers as we go to our Heavenly Father. May God, may you give me a childlike spirit of awe and wonder and joy and faith. Can I get an amen? Church, I love you so much. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.